All right, today is Wednesday, August 20 something. I don't know. So I've been off for a uh, couple of days. It was a uh, escape from Pittsburgh. I uh, drove seven hours up there and uh, had the wheels fall off one of my axles on my trailer. So I had to swap both axles in a bank parking lot in Pittsburgh. And thank the good Lord that there was a local trailer place that had uh, had a set of axles that I could use on this th on that thing. And uh, those were great people over there. I want to give a shout out to Tom's Equipment. You guys are great folks. Um, <clears throat> now, the silver. <laughs> we're breaking through 29.50. And um, I listened to Bill Murphy from Gatto on uh, just a uh, interview saying that J.P. Morton is in big trouble and uh, they're not going to be able to cover that surface. This is a short squeeze. Take delivery. It's it's all coming down. It's uh, everybody, you feel that. You feel that momentum building. That, that mass crescendo you know when you get to the top of the roller coaster just before you start to go down that's the kind of feeling that i'm getting right now <clears throat> so once this thing takes off like it, it was mentioned that it, it's 30 it, it's going to show that uh jp morgan can't um, smash it down anymore so insolvent, they're so far gone. The bond markets are all getting ready to collapse. I do agree with David Morgan. Uh, shorts and bonds. I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, open a brokerage account or something and uh, get into that because uh, it's all mathematical uh, certainty. That uh, you can't just keep printing bonds. You can't just keep issuing a, a debt paper currency system and not have it all in badly. Um, it's, it's very simple and I keep harping on it probably every video. It's the difference between having a privately issued debt-based currency and a publicly issued debt-free currency. And we have the former where we need the latter. <clears throat> This may be the last shot to get silver under 30. Uh, once it gets over 30, I don't think we'll, we'll ever see the 20s again. Um, and it may not be too far off before the rest of this thing goes. Again, I want to remind everybody that there are no legal protections for your checking account, your savings account. The FDIC is insolvent. Go back and look at my video about that. Um, Berkshire Hathaway just uh, canceled the uh, municipal credit uh, default swap contracts, which means they know uh, credit defaults by municipalities are coming. I think something would be fun to do is if you can get into a short position, short your local municipal bond, and then go to your town council meeting and let them know that you're shorting their bond because you know it's all crashing down. Um, and, and laugh at them because it's, anybody who's trapped in that old paradigm, it's gonna be very sad for them. But if they can't see it, you know, it's their own stupid fault. So. That's all I can say, man. The, the, the sleeping masses that we've been trying to warn, trying to wake up, you know, if they can't see the truth, uh, if, they, if they're if they not even willing to go in and look at it, 
uh, explore it a little further. You know, I have very little sympathy. We've all gotten enough uh, warning signals. We've all seen enough little triggers where uh, we should be looking around to see what the hell is going on. And um, the big news out of Pittsburgh was they had their first game and they won. Yay. Somebody threw a ball to somebody else and ran it somewhere over there. Okay. Yeah. Keep a close eye on those accounts, folks, because uh, you might wake up one morning with a big fat goose egg. Uh, crash JP Morgan, buy silver, it's coming. Oh, yeah. And fuck you, Jamie Diamond, and fuck you, Blaze Masters, you corrupt criminal bitches. Hope to see you in prison. Or maybe trying to fly out of a window. Good luck.